Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you something that is pretty cool with Google's AI tool BARD. They are currently experimenting in beta with including it within Google Search. So this is not an automated feature, you need to add it by joining the beta. It's currently only limited to US citizens but does work with a VPN. I've uh, got a NordVPN link down in the show notes if you are in need of a VPN. And so we come to labs.google and labs.google is where they have a number of different betas and wait lists for things that are under development. We can see that there's AI composition, there's some AI coding, and the one that we're interested in is this Google search. So if we hit getting started, you need to be in Chrome, you need to have a Google account, and as I said before, you need to be in the US or it does seem to work with VPN. And we can see there are four different options here. I haven't tested the coding tips yet, but I will test that at some stage or the sheets. But we can see that we can get the SGE generative AI in search. So that's the one that we're looking at today. Uh, if we click try an example, it will give us an example. Alternatively, we can come over to where I've been using it. And so it can now summarize articles. And that's really the big selling point that uh, they've been promoting this beta with. And so we can see here in my Google search, in addition to my normal things that I get, at the top here, I asked it to summarize. I gave an article. And the article, I just got the APA reference out of Google Scholar came over into just my normal Google, which now we can see we've got the little labs icon there uh, because it's running this beta of the Google Labs search. And it said, would you like generative AI to summarize this article for you? Hit generate, and it gives a really good quality summary. So I've got the summary here. Interesting, I've run it a couple of times and it did actually change the writing. So very much like with Bard or ChatGPT, it doesn't just generate the same thing every time. It does also give you the uh, opportunity here to ask follow-ups. It suggests a couple of follow-ups. Uh, we've got little thumbs up, thumbs down, like with most other AI tools uh, that generate things that you might have been using. And it's pretty good. So if you are searching, you want to be able to summarize, this is quite nice in that it is just sitting there as part of Google. You're not having to go to a separate site. You can just do it as, as you're working away in Google. Unfortunately, it's not yet in Scholar. So it would be really nice if this was a feature in Scholar and hopefully eventually once it gets through beta, it will be. Because uh, that way, when we search up a particular article, we get the abstract. Um, but it'll be really nice to get the summary as well. You'll notice at the top here, I do have a little link out to uh, SciSpace. So I have a plugin. We can see it over here. We've got the Copilot as well. And so the Copilot actually does a similar thing. So it will give me summaries. It'll also let me do selections and uh, it will explain things to me as well. If we click on that, it takes us off to SciSpace. Uh, gives us this article, um, summary of that article, and then similar articles. And so then up the top here, summary of the top five papers kind of linked to this particular topic. And this is one where I've got another video coming out about the uh, possibility that people who are more lonely take warmer showers. A little bit of interesting pop psychology, I guess, uh, for another day. So SciSpace, I have done an article on, a video on previously. You can search that out or I might try and link it here as well. But the main thing I wanted to show you was just the ability to get the generative AI sitting within Google. So it's using the Bard engine. Definitely seems to be a little bit smoother, a little bit better than Bard is, so I think they are making continuous improvements to it, which is really nice. And yeah, you might like some of these other bits and pieces within their search labs. Uh, definitely be checking out the coding tips at some point. My initial tests with Bard found it pretty bad at coding, but if they are making a dedicated coding tool from it, then hopefully we'll be seeing some big improvements there as well. So that's it for today. Join me again soon for more videos on AI research and random stuff.